it's quite a long story, really. Um, it's a property that was bought by my grandfather in 1906. He was here for 30 years. And then my father was here for 30 odd years and I've been here for 40, so, uh, or 40 plus, Jane and I. But prior to that, back in the 1870s, Jane's great-great-grandfather was actually here in about 1870 for, for a period of time. They sold it to someone else. Maybe there were a couple of owners in the middle, but then my grandfather got it in 1906. And we, it's, it's been a cattle property forever, all, all the way through. It's, it's probably two or three times as big now as it was back in those days. Terrawomba is the main station. It's a group of leases all put together in this area. We've got, we produce Wagyu cattle here. Wagyu cattle is, is Japanese cattle and it's a, it's a breed that's come in in the last 30 years, very good eating quality. Very good eating quality and very functional cattle. They're exported to 60 different countries now. The Middle East, Europe, everywhere everywhere we sell beef, there's big demand, it's the, it's the top of the tree. It takes a lot of land to run a cow and calf. You know, a cow and calf is a big consumer, a big consumer and you need a lot of land. And, and Australia's got, got that at the moment. There's, there's plenty of land and you can produce that calf, get him up to a 400 kilo steer on grass and then feed him from then on to, to, to express the quality that they've got genetically. It, it works very well. It works very well. We've got extensive land mass in Australia. It's great variance in, in quality rainfall but cattle seem to be able to, if they're managed correctly and it's organised, cattle do well on most of it. Some, you know, people talk about the dead heart of Australia. That's some of the best cattle country in the world out there. As long as you respect that you, you know, six to the square mile is what you run and uh, they do remarkably well. You know, a round figure, you employ one person to a thousand head of cattle. That's in the big scale, you get the big scale, but then on top of that there's contractors and, and various other people that are off, off the places producing things for, to be used on the, on the stations. It's, it's like everything, there's a big turnover and everyone gets a bit of it. The industry employs a lot of young people and it gets them started, gets them, gets them working, getting up in the morning and washing their face and getting on with the job and they're organised. It's a good start for young people. It's amazing how people in the bush, if they've been started in the bush, sometimes they go to the cities for a while, but as they get older, the, the, the yearning to get back into the bush gets stronger and stronger. And uh, I think that's what it is. It doesn't seem to wane as you get older, it gets stronger.